hello guys welcome to my channel tech with kazim today we will look at how to host your static websites on github from visual studio code so when we talk about source control or version control source control lets us or it lets you to keep track on your code and files over time meaning when you host your project, work your website project in GitHub, you can continue to add updates and people can also share it, can also use it and update it for you, add some things, but that will be, they can contribute to your code, that's what I mean, they can also contribute to it. So, um, what is Git actually? Git is a program um, for managing your code. Why GitHub? Um, host a copy of your code in a repository. So in GitHub, you'll be creating a repository that will hold your project, that will hold your code. So that platform that hosts a copy of your code in a repository is what we call um, GitHub. So now with GitHub, you can only host static websites. Meaning on GitHub, you can't host um, website that have server side scripting or dynamic website that use maybe Python, PHP, or Node.js, or that use Java or some other programming language. You can only host static websites that are written in HTML, that have HTML files, CSS, Bootstrap, and JavaScript only. And there are two ways that you can actually host um, your project on GitHub. So you can use the Git, meaning you have to install Git. Or you use the GitHub desktop. So you have to download um, GitHub, Def GitHub desktop on your computer machine to be able to use it. So now, normally you have to create a repository on GitHub before you, before you can publish your code to GitHub. But with VS Code, it allows you to do that right from the editor. From the editor. So after you're done um, writing your code, you then you can write from there without leaving that environment of VS Code right from there, you cannot deploy it to GitHub. And that is what we want to look at, how you will be able to deploy your code to All right guys, so now I'm going to show you how you can host your static website on GitHub right from your Visual Studio code. So you need to install the Git on your computer machine. If you haven't done so, you, I will show you the link in a moment. Then when you install Git, then from your VS Code, you have to install the GitHub protocols and issues from your extension. The GitHub protocols and issues allow you to review and manage GitHub pull requests and issues in Visual Studio Code. So if you go to your browser, um, then I'll show you the link that you can use to download Git for your computer machine. So you type HTTPS first. I'm going to drop the link um, in the description for you guys. So it's actually git scmcom forward slash download. So when you hit enter, so you see the web page for Git and you'll be able to download Git on your platform. If you're using a Mac, you download, you choose that on Windows or Linux. And the current version of Git as of the time of recording this video is a 2.38.0. So once you um, download a Git on your machine, you open your VS Code. From the VS Code, you install the GitHub for requests and issues. So I have my VS code this way. So I'm going to click on um, I'm going to click on the extensions. Here is the extension. In the search box, I'll search for the GitHub pull request and issues. Alright, yeah it is this one here. Okay, no, sorry. Yeah it is exactly the GitHub pull request and issues. So I've already installed it. Um, the extension of my VS Code. So in your case, it will be showing install, so you have to install it. So once you've installed Git on your machine and you've installed the GitHub protocol and the issues extension on your VS Code, so it's time to open your project. So the website or the web page you want to deploy usually will be, um, it will contain HTML files, CSS files, images, and maybe some front end JavaScript um, files. But this, just so you know that you can use, uh, you can deploy website or web pages that are, that uses server script programming like python java java node.js php so you can only uh, use it for um, files web page that contain files like html css javascript bootstrap so i already have a folder here so you, you need to open your project folder so i already have an empty folder that i can use here 
So I call the folder new world. So new world, I'm going to open it here. So it's an empty folder that I want to use for this project. So I'm going to say yes, I trust that. So now once it's open, you see it's an empty folder. So I can just create it for demo. So in your case, you're going to have um, a, a web page that you're done with that you just want to deploy that contains all your files. So I'm just going to create an index.html there. I'm just going to create, create all right. I have the file, I have to save the file. So I'm saving it in the folder called New World. So I've created the file. So let me just have some um, content in it. So I'm to have some content in it. All right, so now I want to have the hand section. Let me just populate the content. Okay. So just demo, just a simple, so I want to have the body. Yeah. Yeah, so I just want to have something that just says this is my first project deployed deployed on GitHub. Alright, so I'm just going to have to save that. Yeah, it's already saved anyway. So not, not something in your case you're going to have the bulky project that contains. So let me open the project so you see the content. But okay, so this is it now. Alright, okay. So it's not saved as an HTML, so I have to save it as an HTML file here. So it has to be some that will be an HTML document. Okay, I'm trying to save it as an HTML document here. So I'm going to open the new one. All right, so it's, it's an HTML document. So if I open it, so you just contain this, um, not something, just for demo. So this is my first project deployed on GitHub. So but your case, the, this folder will contain many things for you. It will have CSS files, it will have images, maybe some JavaScript, front end JavaScript that you're using on your web page, lots of folders. But just for demo, this project for that new one just contains that. So I'm going to be deploying just for that for my GitHub. So now the, the next thing I want to do is I want to sign in into my GitHub account. So if you don't have a GitHub account, just head on to www.github.com and then you sign up and also sign up and you sign in. So I'm, I already have a GitHub account and I'm currently signing. So you know, and before now, you, to, you can deploy on GitHub by coming to GitHub and creating a new repository, do all those things, then upload your photo one by one, but you need to do that. So I'm going to be doing that right from my VS code. I just need to sign in here to make authentication from my VS code to my GitHub easier. So now I'm signing in, so I'll just come to source control here. From source control, I'm going to see these two um, buttons here, the initialize repository or the publish GitHub. So I'm going to click on publish to GitHub. So you can see the name of the folder is showing you newer and it's asking me if I want to uh, publish to a private repository or because I want to be visible so I'm publishing to a public repository. Then when you click on publish to publish to the repository, it lists all the files that it contains. In my case, since um, the file only contains the HTML, so you, this is where you can choose which file you actually want to deploy. So you can exclude some files, like now if you have in your previous product, there are files that contain um, login credentials, maybe like database login and the rest, you can exclude them. So that one will be added to the git ignore folder. For, for now, I just have only one file there and it's nothing that, not any confidential. I'll just use this and I click on OK. So I have it now deployed to the GitHub. So you will see from the status, when you click on publish the GitHub, you see instead of at the bottom right that will be uploading and when it's uploaded it will tell you it's successful so now let me show you so in my github in my repository i can search for the newer so you can see the new one here if i click it you'll see that i uploaded it now this is the file that in the html and one other thing you need to do is to check this um web page this website that you deployed so you just need to do um https the https Column double four slash your account name. Mine is this github.io, then forward slash the name of the project name, which is newer. So when I click enter now, it's not showing more because um, I've not added it to the master branch. So if you're familiar with the git command, you can write from the github, you can add it to master branch. But I can as well do it here. 
So when I click on settings, I come to pages. So from pages, I scroll down in the, in the branch. So I change it to from non. So when you click the non, you have option to choose the master. So once you make it the master, you save it. So once it is now the master branch, it's it will be ready for you to deploy. So I just have to um, refresh this now. So the URL will be https double four slash your account name, which is coming from github.io, then four slash your project name, then enter. So now you usually when you upload um, your web page, your website on GitHub, it takes a uh, within uh, within 10 minutes. So you have to wait for like 10 minutes for for it to be visible. So I have my repository is new here. It takes about 10 minutes for it to be visible. So once it's visible, you'll be able to see it there. So now I'm trying to check now to wait for it to come up. So once it's once it's up. We'll be able to see the page that I would deploy on live on. Um, so let me go to get all pages here. All right, it, it should be live now. So, so I just got the status now that your site is now. When you now go to pages, you will see that. So if I refresh it, it should come up now. So here it is. This is this is the code we wrote earlier. So this is how you can actually deploy your website on github and once you deploy on github you'll be able to manage it over time you go to add codes to it or update it and you can actually have people contribute to it you can manage pull requests you can manage issues with it you can also share the url maybe you work on a project and you want to share it with others so you can share it with your github so guys thank you for following this video to the end thank you for watching to the end so if you enjoyed this video please like my channel subscribe to my channel and you can turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on interesting videos like this so thank you for watching